coming down to the area. I'm an alpha. Oh, the fighters in the support. I'm an alpha. Oh, snipers? Oh, they are. I'm an alpha. Storm magic isn't going to do that much damage. I can't move around though, which is unfortunate, so I'm just going to spread my troops out. And they are going to fucking pay. Missile base is coming online. We're under attack. Oh fuck, he landed on this island too and I didn't notice. Fuck, he's a tower there! Jeez, see? Ah, uh, it's annoying. It's very annoying. That person can do it. They're gonna wish they never got here. Good, I got enough stone for the Brandenburg. Just a little more wood and I'm good. One more wood, come on! This should fix a lot of my gold problems. Okay, Guan is still Imperial. Fuck, I didn't ask for that. But, I'll make it work. Maybe that's one of the permanent ones? No, it wasn't. Missile away. Oh, what an asshole! Oh my god! God, didn't even manage to kill it. What a fucking retard! <laughs> oh my God, they piss me off sometimes. <laughs> Shit like that, man. Ah, oh, God. I have to spread out the missile bases. I don't even know how they're getting line of sight over that. Oh, okay, Joe's United Kingdom. Or the United Kingdom, Korea, and Russia. 
My German army is doing really well. Like, they just completely cleansed this whole area. And, better yet, now the gold mines can come under my control. I can really start the economy here. I think I want to crush Joe. I think he just needs to die. So I think I'll manage it. I have an airport somewhere. I managed to kill. Put some zeppelins together. Start air raids on his base. So we're gonna keep most of this stuff here. I'm gonna land. I'm gonna use a zeppelin raid to land on his base. Cause he's the United Kingdom, and as long as oh fuck, you see, as long as he's the United Kingdom, he can continue doing this. Actually, there's only a couple meters that he had. Oh, that was kind of a waste. I don't know what they're thinking. But I do have a cool thing called the Enigma Machines. Let's check it out. Let's see how the economies are going. Whoa. Okay, their economies are... Joe's economy is really good. Military-wise, I have the best military next to Joe. So then Joe has to die. And he still has regulars. He did go United Kingdom, though. He is in the next stage. didn't do that much damage. Commander? I do have a bunch of villagers somewhere, but I don't think... Yeah. No, this isn't them either. Huh. Okay, I gotta stop sending those guys. Should, I should do. I think I have a missile ready. What happened to his economy? What? Where's all this shit? He got hollowed out, it looks like. I don't know where he's. I'm still away. I'm an alpha. Under attack. Oh, that's a colony! Holy shit! Okay. Well, that makes more sense. Um. Okay, I guess these are the only villagers I can load up. No worries. I'll do that. Fuck, I gotta... I ordered them to stop sending planes, and they're still sending planes. Yeah, 
under attack. We're under attack. The arc's complete. I gotta get all these uh, villagers back in line. A lot of them right now are just sort of all over the place. Sorry guys, I've sort of zoned out and almost forgotten that I'm making entertainment here. There's been a lot that's been going on. As you can see, this place is a colony. Right, so this is the idea that I'm aiming for. I've just nuked the fuck out of his houses, Hiroshima. That was awesome. He's gonna be wondering, ooh, why is my house working? So that's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna be good. That should be fun. Oh, oh no, he collapsed a mine. It's all over. <laughs> like they they just can't strike back at me with enough force to really do that much damage right now. I mean, they could easily kill me right now, which really hasn't happened before, so kudos to these guys, because they're doing better than they ever have before. But, wow, so your constant's gonna think it lasts that long. So Joe's got troops all over the coast, which sucks, because it's gonna be hard to make a base here, but I'm gonna try anyway. I'm just gonna land my troops here, and the villagers here anyway. What an idiot. Why is he building Trafalgar Square? Yeah, I'll send her a thousand gold. I think she's going to World War One, which means she might be useful. She's going U.S. and the U.S. have uh, aircraft carriers, which are extremely useful, and they also have the obviously the nuke, which is the nuclear bomber. Whereas I have a nuclear missile. American military is half decent too. Their tanks are pretty good. They're not that good, but they're cheap. Cheaper than Panzer IVs anyway. Oh, ho, there goes this wonder in Apple's food warehouse, the piece of shit. Oh god, it's so good to be fucking these guys up like this. <laughs> After all that pressure they put on me early game, this is by far the, the best that they've ever played. Like, yeah, there's just no. No doubting this is the best game that these guys have ever done. They're doing really well. They're, they've been holding me off, they've been having me off guard most of the game. Like, they're just complete turnaround from as I used to play. It used to kind of get boring because I used to just completely manipulate them and destroy them, but at this point it's, it's just really tough. These guys are getting a lot better. We're under attack. Tower complete. Yeah. 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 I think they're getting sort of angry at the fact that I can just nuke them with impunity.
I also have enough villagers here so that I can actually uh, colonize the spot after I'm done with it. Very good. I don't know how prepared they are for this attack, but I, I don't care that much to be honest. I just want these guys to uh, get finished off. This game is very long, if any guys have not really noticed that yet. Fire lungs dropped. Oh, good. Green is out of the game. Guys, this is starting to look up. This is really starting to look up. Oh, God. They had me really worried for a while. Oh, he crashed. Settlement complete. Commander, we're under attack. Commander. Whoa! That came out of nowhere. One Panzer IV stands against everything. I'm gonna move most of my forces back north. get some more of these MG42 teams together. That should be good. The fact is I can just sit beyond their range and just play with that. Should be it. Like the- oh my god. Okay, that's gonna die. Anytime they make a wonder, I just I can't leave it there, right? Because that's uh, paratroopers. He could send paratroopers anywhere on the map. He also has nuclear bombers. Fuck. Okay, <laughs> time to start AA fortifying this whole base. Right, moving around. I need to explore the rest of the space, make sure that there's nothing else here. Yep, that's the end of his wonder. I want to see if he builds it again. <laughs> This is good. I just I just get to sit back right now. I mean, they can't really do much. It's probably extremely aggravating, but it's really the only thing I can do. I'm gonna start bombing them like Battle Britain style. Guan needs to start dying because he's just he's seriously he's too dangerous to just leave alone. Oh look at this! There's a gold mine out here that I've missed this whole game. Settlement complete. Set this group on explore. Yeah, 
Right. So keep this expanding. Keep this growing. And we're gonna be set. Hopefully we can start landing in other places now. I'm glad that they really just sort of let off on me like that. Otherwise, uh, this wouldn't have been quite the game that it's <laughs> it's turned out to be. Just sneak my town center. Settlement complete. They say that they're bored. Alright, good. I'm gonna start planning for this invasion. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up our troops from here. <laughs> Alright. Alright, good. We're gonna invade him. He, he had the stomach to stay around for long enough. One guy crashed out. And, uh, but, but Guan stayed, and that shows. Shows he's a dedicated guy, and I like that, so. We're gonna bring as much naval power to bear on this guy as we can. Hopefully, our subs will be able to buy us as much time as we need. We should be able to land with our invasion force, and obviously, under the cover of uh, Air Force. And, uh, nukes. I'm just extremely afraid that he's going to use those uh, those bombers against us. It's been a bit of a quiet game on my side. I've been doing a lot of micromanaging that, that has meant that commentary has been sort of difficult. Uh, this is going to be a very long, long video, so I'm likely going to be splitting this up into parts and see exactly what's going on week by week, which should be cool. Uh, once again, Rome 2 is going to be awesome. Going to have some fun games going with that. So that should be one of the best series ever. It should be really fun. Seriously, guys, if... Uh, you've watched this far into the series, then I would seriously, seriously recommend that uh, you guys need to watch this. Like, it's just, the guys that I'm playing with are, are completely outrageous, and it's just, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun with our co-op campaign. So hopefully you guys will check that out. So we're going to give this guy the last sort of dose of what we can. We never invaded any of the home islands. We managed to strip them of all of their colonies, minus this one here. So maybe that will be our next course of action. Yeah, I think that's smart. Let's see what the Enigma looks like. So Guan right now has a huge citizen count. So we're gonna flood him with uh, Zeppelins and that. We can't have him getting too strong. But we should be able to invade him. The the oh, the last stand invasions in this game are always really fun. Where you're Oh, look at this. Tiger tanks. Oh, yeah. These things are work worth almost as much as a nuke. We could make them cheaper. We could give them more range. I think, yeah, I think they'd rather have them being cheaper. 600 instead of God knows how much it was before. 800 or something. So be it. Good. Gonna have all this being loaded up. We got quite the armada coming together. Secure the Secure the that was very unsportsmanlike how Joe quit. I didn't like that. Secure the horns. Oh, really? I'm left. It's unfortunate. Ready and loaded. Secure the horns. Guys, next time if you're finding the uh, commentary a little lonely, let me know. I'll, uh, I can include the TeamSpeak chat. I might be a little more vulgar, a little more, uh, less, less intense, but this should be fun. General? Secure the area. Under attack. Huh. Green battleships. <laughs> Main commandant. He's mad that he's lost. You need a pickup.
need a pickle. Okay, good. Got that. Put that on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're under attack. Okay. Oh, what? Why? Oh, I guess he had just landed troops on my island right before uh, he dropped. Which could have ended badly because I never would have noticed this here. Wow. Okay, that shows you exactly what could have happened if he hadn't have dropped. As I said, guys, this game was not at all a decisive victory for me and my ally. This was uh, the closest that these guys have ever come to really just being able to kick our ass. <laughs> Which is fun. Right. So, commence the invasion with misspelling of invasion of uh, commencing. We'll send over some zeppelins. Alright, this looks like a good spot for D-Day. We'll put the battleships right up against for support. Bring these in. Today we land the United States of America. Those MG-40s are just nuts. And the crown jewel of the army is this gigantic ass fucking king tiger. <laughs> well, okay, we have to land short and push through his anti aircraft guns. Push through the fog land! Oh, that's really cool. Look at I'm gonna move through the farms, slaughtering all the civilians in the way. Alright, let's blow open this gate, boys. You see these guys moving around in the back, man. Right. There we go! Go, go, go! Gotta clear the way for air support. Nuclear strike incoming. Walk way wide in the gap while they do small. Hopefully his anti-aircraft guns don't actually shoot him down. Actually, that's entirely possible. Because they are just D2 rockets. Oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Fuck, they shot it down. What about this one? Oh, they shot that one down too. What the third one? Third one that I sent a couple seconds later should be riding soon. Oh, that one struck. Forward! Oh, 
Oh, a big mushroom cloud and just turned all the... Turn that ground into radioactive glass. I've met no opposition. Zeppelins for additional air support. Finish these guys off. Landing fleets arrived. We're just finishing these guys off now. You know what? He's not resisting me here on purpose. He's building up his forward calling. I'll oblige. I'll build up my nukes. Stop the air force. I'm gonna send it that. What? What? <laughs> what? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god! What in the hell? Holy shit! Okay, right. Um, that's what I get for not paying attention. Okay, time to start fortifying this area now. Oh my god, dude, you just fucked me. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't notice. Okay, we have to put more guns out here then. I'll put up an advanced warning belt out here. What in the hell? Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't notice that. That's ridiculous. Jesus. The sooner you get these anti aircraft guns working, the better. Now okay, I'm gonna run the fighters out here. Hopefully, I can intercept them in the channel. Put post battleships. General. Okay, I'm gonna leave some of these troops to uh, just explore the island and kill what they can. And move everybody else back to the ships. General. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Believe, I just. There's just a smoking ruin where half my base used to be. My Air Force should be patrolling out here, which should be good. Um, we're gonna have to move everybody else that we can back to those ships, because we need as many ships as we can to land on that place. Yeah, there's really not that, uh, all that much on the Oh shit, here comes the next wave. Here they are. I'm an Alcordas received. Don't get the bird. Don't get the bird. Just get the bird. I'm an Alcordas. Orders received. Just get the bird. Okay, he launched some serious raids against me. Well, half of them got shot down from that. I don't know where in the fuck. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a hell of a way to end it. Oh, that was awesome. That was really cool. Oh, that was great. That was really cool. I wonder what he had. Holy shit, he was ready for an invasion. Oh, that's awesome. That would have been a really fun place to attack. Oh, it's unfortunate we left.
Then Fire Lungs had a lot of stuff. He used to be really new at this game too, and he got very good. That that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Jesus. I'm gonna check out some of these stats. Check out how well we did. Uh this is population, so I had the highest population in the end. Guan did surpass me at one point. But for essentially the whole game I had highest population. Biggest army size for a lot of the game. Citizen count. Most of the game I had a lot. Cool. Wow, okay, yeah, the score is just, oh my god, you see they didn't put enough into their economy, so they never got the military that I did by the end. Uh, you see everybody's aged. Wow, Joe was the first one to gunpowder, but I was first to World War One, and Fire Lunch was in World War Two before I even noticed. So I did see it, you can check with you can see with the economy that it really does matter. Like this gold amount that I gained was just from early on in the game claiming all of those islands. I had a lot more time to be mining. Not only that, but I had the uh, the wonder, which generated me a hell of a lot of that. You can see that if you maintain the best economy, then you will have the best military, or you have the potential to have the best military as long as you're not wiped out. Fire Lungs managed to finish his wonder. Guan did have the most citizens, but he took too long to get them. Evo received the most. Yeah, okay, Guan was receiving a lot of tribute from his allies. I killed the most units by far. And lost the most by far. <laughs> I did most of the fighting. Evo killed 85 units. Yeah! Oh no. 40, 43 units. Oh god. <laughs> Firelings, a bunch of conversions. Oh, those were those rebellion things. He only converted 6 tanks. So you see that's not that powerful. You're better off using that against uh, civilians. So I was the fastest. Guan's pretty fast, but the rest of these guys are pretty slow. Awesome. We've already checked out the timelines. Well, guys, that is a full game of Empire's Dawn of the Modern World. That is the whole thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun doing it. At some points, it was uh, a little quiet, <laughs> I suppose, with commentary, but I like uh, allowing you guys to sort of immerse yourselves in the game. It was really fun. I'm thinking from now on, I don't know if I'm going to be doing it in such a long format, but I think I should have at least one full game of Empires on the channel. So I'm going to be releasing this periodically in uh, manageable amounts, because with this amount I can't really um, upload it all at once, because it'll require the computer to be used for a couple of years. So this file is going to be gigantic. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys managed to stay till the end of this. I'm really glad you guys watched this. So it's, it's an awesome game. It's an awesome series. Let me know what you guys want uh, in the future. Once again, check out that Rome video. One month that thing's released. Might even come with the trailer or something. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you guys around.